All right, emergency, emergency, emergency. Are you ready to go, Dale? Yeah. All right, Dale's ready to go. We're about to blow this popsicle stand. We are, this week, I'm submitting his report of consular birth abroad packet to get his U.S. citizenship. So we can go to the United States if we need to. We might have to leave Chrissy and Hannah behind. Me and Alex and Dale will be on our way. Things in the world are deteriorating and there's no safer place in the United States. Now is the time to stay there, not risk it and travel anywhere. Hey guys, so you saw that, you heard that. I, I was blown away by this and it made me want to go on this rant. Um, I, I have no freaking clue what's going on with... I can't even call these people men, I have to call them guys because a man who, who would even think like this as far as you know when I first saw that video I, I thought I had to shut it off because here this guy was talking about if shit hits the fan the safest place would be would probably be the US but him his brother-in-law and his little son they'd be able to get to the US but their wives would have to stay in the Philippines. Now, the dude's brother-in-law just became a brother-in-law like three weeks ago. And you think about leaving your wife in the Philippines if shit hits the fan so you can get someplace where you deem safe and leave them going through hell? I mean, dude, <laughs> warriors, people who, you know, in history, I mean, what man would do this? I mean, it's just insanity to me. That's why I always looked at, at there's guys and there's men. When people would say, man, Steve, you're a cool guy, you know, whatever, and they call me a guy, I'll always correct them. I'm not a guy, I'm a man. Don't, don't put me in that category, all right? I, I think, like, a guy is not quite a man, all right? That's just me and my thinking but uh, tell me what you guys think I mean I mean do you leave your wife behind because shit gets hard I mean this is just insanity to me but uh, uh, then again who knows what's their life like I, I don't know maybe maybe they don't have a good loving relationship I, I don't know I, who knows what goes on behind closed doors so who am I to judge I, and I'm really not judging it's just that those words really cut like my gosh why would you do that I mean I have an ex-wife if shit hits the fan I would want to make sure my ex-wife and my children and everybody that I know and love are safe you know not run from the problem and this dude was an army guy or whatever you know and one thing in the Marine Corps we learned was you go as fast as the slowest man so if you've got a fire team of four people or a squad of 13, you go and you move as fast as the slowest guy, all right? That, that's what we learned, that's what we did, that's what, how you move as a unit, you know? So it just had me on this rant, you guys, I had to talk about it. I'll be back to normal on Tuesday, man, and we'll get to working out again and hitting it hard, all right? So. Peace be with you. Have a great weekend.